Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you may be. This evening I have a small haul for you. These are basically things that I've ordered online over the last two weeks. And yeah, I thought you'd like to unbox, unbag, unwrap them together. So, first one. See, seriously, I, I do buy a lot of stuff from Tarjo. I know you probably look at my videos and think I get everything from Chanel or wherever, wherever. I, I so don't. No. This this dress is a high street dress. This, oh, well, the cardigan is maybe a bit, bit more axy, but Tarjo. Now, I know what this is, but I don't, I can't remember what colour, excuse the rustling. I ordered these before and they sent me an email and said, sorry, they're out of stock. And I do find that Target, Target, do that a lot. But if you wait a couple of weeks, they'll have returns, new stock, etc, etc. It usually comes back into stock. Oh, this is this one. Right, so this is for the summer. I wanted to order something for the summer because despite the fact we really only have a a true three month winter here in Australia, in Sydney, it can be very cold and we are experiencing one of the coldest winters since, I don't know, 1900 and dot, you know, when I was born probably. So it's this little crochet bag, which I just thought was brilliant. I'll show, give you a close up. Look at that, little crocheted bag. A sort of a, No, I mean the hand, look, the handles are plastic, but they look like they've been sort of wrapped in a leather thong. Little internal pocket there. And look, it even comes with a strap. Fabulous. That is just so nice. That would be lovely with a summer dress. Just let me zoom you out of it. Go. Oops, put that up on that. Still can't really see, but you know. Right, I think that's the extent of the zoominess. Yeah, that'll be nice with this summer dress. Nice flowy skirt. Gorgeous little bag. And the, the crochet is not bad quality, really. I mean, look. It's decent size, perfect, phone, bit of makeup, a couple of tissues, there you go. 25 Aussie dollars. Bit of a bargain, I thought. So that's good. That one has turned out well. I mean, they don't always, you know, online shopping is a bit of a hit and miss game sometimes, isn't it? There's nothing wildly exciting here, but I just thought you'd like to see, if nothing else, to see what I order in a space of a fortnight, the sort of variety of things that, that I look for and use now. These Chanel boxes. Chanel Beauty, this is not, not Chanel Boutique, you know, like. No, okay. Oh, I see. Do you know, I, I'm want to zoom you in. I'm so like my mother when it comes to opening things. She used to rip a box to shreds, you know, to get inside it. And I was just looking at this, thinking, well, I've cut the tag. Why doesn't that open? And then I saw that, you know, the perforated, really. You know, you can have all the degrees in the world and you still can't be capable of opening a cardboard box seemingly. Well, I can't anyway. I don't know if anybody watching saw my video on Wednesday about, ow, yeah, about that issue, about um, bags that are easy to open and close when you've got arthritis or other, you know, dexterity issues. I really hope that was valuable 
for people out there because I enjoy doing videos like that. Look, I love doing things like this too, don't get me wrong, but, you know, when something is sort of fundamental like that, I, I really particularly enjoy that. So, with Compliment Chanel, their little, little bag that they give you, There's very little in here, really. They always put shredded paper in the bottom. You see, like this. You know why they do that? I suppose just to stop the stuff rattling around. Anyway, two perfume samples. So we've got Coco Mademoiselle, which I'm not... It isn't really my perfume, but my daughter-in-law likes it, and number five which is my all-time favourite. I will always, always wear number five. It's just a fantastic perfume. I love it. My mum wore it. I wear it. My daughters-in-law seem to like more sort of florally, yeah, those sort of perfumes. And they say number five's a bit old-fashioned. Oh, so this is new packaging. Okay, so this is going to sound really silly, but before I started doing YouTube, I wore very little makeup, seriously. It was a little bit of concealer, you know, wherever. If you had a bit of a breakout of something. A flick of mascara, usually a coloured lip gloss, and that was it. You know, or one of those Revlon, is it Revlon? I can't remember who they're made by, those um, chubby sticks, you know, that are sort of in between a lip balm and a lipstick. Since I've been doing YouTube videos, I've realised that you actually have to do proper makeup or you just look totally washed out on camera. So for the first time ever, and I mean ever, in my entire life, in my 69 years of existence, have I got it here with me? I probably have. Let me grab it and show you. It's hysterical. This is the first time that any lipstick I have ever owned has come to that. I mean, look, there's hardly any bit left. Unbelievable. So because of that, I've ordered another lipstick. And I know you're probably thinking it's strange, but look, Remember, most of my working life was spent backstage in theatre and makeup, you know what I mean, wasn't really a thing. Being on time was a thing, wearing black was a thing, not being seen was a thing, but makeup, who cared really? So I bought this from Chanel. Um, oh, okay. Oh, right, that's the kettle. You see, I thought this was in a box, honestly. I'm home one of those days. But it's like the packaging of the, um, the spray, you know, the new low. And this is the colour lipstick. I wanted something similar to the one that I had. Go on, Kaz, get yourself a matte lipstick. So I have. So that... I think, oh, very strange this. It doesn't go in, it just stays. Ah, okay. Righty ho. So that's that. It's the Rouge Allure Velvet and is in shade 05. I assume that's the shade. I really hope this is makeup stuff, honestly. If you want advice about makeup, skincare, well, I'm not too bad with skincare, but if you want advice about makeup, this is not the place to be. Or likewise, cooking. If you want to do a cooking thing, don't come to it. Don't, don't come to my channel, please. As I have said many times, I can burn a boiled egg, and have done many times, and ruin saucepans with it. Okay, so let's get rid of that. I love that little bag from Tarjay. Now, 
I would say at least every two weeks. I buy one of these. Yes, you see, I'm doing it. I'm doing my mother's thing of. There was a tab at the other end that you just pulled, and yes, it's really easy when you do that, isn't it? I do worry about myself sometimes. I really do. Oh, awesome! This looks brilliant. Okay, so. I wouldn't go longer than two weeks before I bought a new book. And this one, I think because, you know, when I did that video with Liz, um, it's over on the Pink Notebook. If you hadn't subscribed to the Pink Notebook, you really should. It's a fabulous channel, really fabulous. History of fashion, everything. Liz is just uh, knowledgeable about all of it. Anyway, this is Welcome to Big Bieber. And I was talking to Liz before we started recording, you know, the sort of chat thing about how I used to live just down the road from Bieber and bus stop and fabulous boutiques and very fortunate time in the 1970s. And this is just, oh, well, this is awesome. I don't know how much of this I'm allowed to share with you for copyright reasons, but just let me see if I can get that shot when he walked in and there was, yeah, it was like, it was like this, very sort of deco style, really flamboyant, black, gold, ostrich feathers, just oh, gorgeous, you know? The sort of house that you want to live in. Well, that's how I'd like to make my house to live in anyway, but then I'm a bit, a bit unusual when it comes to interior design. And no, I, d I don't do the walls black. I know I've got black on again, but... Okay, now, this one... Right. Now, clearly I'm a bit of a shopaholic. I openly admit that. And as I mentioned, I think in my first live, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in one of my videos, I quit, you know, that bad habit in 2006 and decided that instead of spending money on that bad habit, I would save it up and spend it on handbags instead as an incentive. And so I kept taking that allowance out to spend on handbags, books, you know, etc. I know I'm very lucky to be in a financial position to be able to afford to do that. But at the moment, you see, I've just given myself a pay rise because I got totally behind with the price of these things. And how do I say this without mentioning the words? Anyway, if you were to buy, you know, a pack of a hundred dollars here in Australia, a hundred bucks. I mean, what? Seriously, I, I just thought, oh, come on. You know, if you, if you bought it every day, that's $700 a week. You know, that's nearly $3,000 a month. So my budget has been raised. And so I thought, well, you know, the sales are on. I should take full advantage of them. Because, I mean, sensible shoppers do, don't they? I mean, sales are there to save us money. You really shouldn't listen to me because I'm a really bad influence. I think if ever I was to be regarded as an influencer, which will be hysterical as soon as I'm 70 in October. I mean, that would just be, oh, ridiculous. I would be considered to be a very bad influencer. But then him indoors is a bit of an enabler, you know? You can tell I'm in a chatty mood today, can't you? Him indoors has been very busy at work, so he hasn't been sort of popping in and out, so I've sort of missed him all day, so. 
I've missed having a yarn with somebody. Oh, and then I had to go out to the doctors and I was in. Okay. Oh, but good news. Finally, tomorrow, I'm going into hospital to get the sinus thing sorted out once and for all. Shouldn't really affect my YouTube schedule. I'm so rubbish at opening boxes, honestly. I keep meaning to get one of those things at Amazon, but then I look at them and I think, oh, I just, I don't know, I think I'd end up stabbing myself with it. Anyway, all of that about quitting, etc., etc., and me having a raise in my allowance, shall we call it my handbag allowance, <clears throat> led me back to the Proenza School of Website. Now, I know what you're going to say. I, I unboxed that amazing electric blue, you know, the Sway PS1 Tiny. And I bought a sort of a torpy coloured one, which was a much nicer colour than was shown on the website. It looked more sort of orangey brown. I, I really think I've got a totally different bag oops, to the one that was shown on the website because the colours are just, and I mean, I'm so glad it is different because I love that top colour. But this was the last colour they had in stock on the Prones of School website, so I just have to submit my best to myself with this box and its contents. Sort my microphone out, right. So you'll probably guess what's in here. And you see, for me at the moment, I think, because this is my accountant's maths, you can call it girl maths, you can call it you know, whatever, shopaholic maths. In my mind, if they're like a third of the price that they usually are, then you can buy three for the price of one. Now, how can you overlook that? I can't walk past it. However, having said that, there are only so many PS1 tiny suede bags that you can wear in a lifetime. And the sensible thing would be, I'm definitely keeping the blue one, that is, that is not not open to negotiation at all, That's, that is staying with me. But there's the top one over there, which is such a fantastic neutral colour. And then there's this one, oh, which is also a really nice colour. Oh, why do I do this? Honestly. Whoops, sorry. I just keep seeing bits all over this cardigan. Anyway, it's this one in the Bordeaux. It's a rather nice colour, isn't it? I do quite like the fact that, unlike the, the top one and the blue one, just let me get the top one to compare. Okay, you see, the top one has shiny silver hardware. This one has got a sort of a nice brushed, I thought it might have been because the plastic was slung, but the plastic's off actually. Actually this, no. This catch seems a bit dodgy. That's probably why it was left in the sale. Um, yeah, okay. Dodgy clasp. Do you know, probably just as well it's been decided for me then. So back in the box. Yeah, it's just really loose. And we'll just rattle as you walk along. So that's that is no good at all. So I'll put that back in its box. Sorry about the noise. Right, so we'll pretend that one never happened. And we now have a box from Target. I love Target. 
They have such great bargains, they really do. I'm thinking of doing a shopping vlog at Target because there's a fairly decent sized one not far from where we live. Although a lot of them have closed down. I assume due to the you know pandemic thing and all that stuff. Although you'd have thought that lower cost places like Target would have been able to ride that wave, wouldn't you? Really? God, why box is so difficult to undo? They used to make tape that you could just tear. And now it's this reinforced stuff because I don't know. I suppose they're probably paranoid about the postman opening the box or now if, if anybody out there is a postman or a post lady, I, I'm I'm not dissing you. Seriously, no disrespect meant. Just, you know, just my odd sense of humour. Let's get on with it, honestly. I'm sure you want to look more than me struggling to open a blooming box. Oh, right, okay, shattered now. Right, that's the day's workout done. Oh yes, I remember now what I ordered, yes. I don't know if you remember, in my last Target mini haul, which was about, well, it was pretty much two weeks ago actually, um, I ordered these little black Uggs, well they're not Uggs, but sort of Ugger likes Strange, strange name that would be. Let's start a footwear company called Ugger likes How attractive. Anyway, I got my usual size 7 and they were way too big. Are incredibly too big. So I've ordered a six and I'll just give them a oh it's got their elasticate and attach the other one with oh god now the microphone's falling down. <laughs> oh dear. Don't you love YouTube? It's all about chaos, isn't it? It's like swans, isn't it? You know, just gliding along on the surface and the feet madly paddling underneath the water. Or something like that. Oh dear. I really am in one of those chatty moods where I just really talk about something and nothing. But I can't help it, I'm afraid. One gets these days sometimes, and you just have to go with them. It's very difficult to try things like this on when they're connected together. And <sighs> right, okay. Oh, it does help if you undo it first. Okay. Yep. Right. Oh, there goes the mic. <sighs> okay. No. Oh, you're not even going to be able to see these, are you? I don't think. If I zoom you right out. No, okay, right, well. These are them, <laughs> she said. And these are too small. Okay, so. And it was all started so well. It was going so well. Until I got the dodgy PS1. Well, the PS1 with the dodgy fastening. Oh, goodness. Right. So those will have to go back to Taj, eh? However, there is... I really like these clip-on mics because they mean, you know, I can stand up and, you know, walk over to the camera and show you something sort of close up. But they are a real pain unless you clip them on really stiff fabric. Okay, now where is this supposed to open? I don't know. Sorry, rustling noise again. Oops. 
Right. Oh, okay. Up there. Oh, a little stray bit of something falling out of that. Okay, so there we have the black version of the little crochet bag. So cute. I hope you can see the black again. <laughs> black against black. I've got a black dress on, black tights on, black cardigan, and a black bag. They're great. Look, they've got a little fabric inside with an easy to open. Very pleased about that. Shoulder strap. These will be great for summer. You know, quite often we go down for a walk along the beach because it's not far from here. And I don't always want to take a beach bag or, you know, a big bag at all. So something like this. Fabulous. I haven't zoomed you in, have I? <coughs> Fabulous. So, the black one and the cream one. Gorgeous. Two nice little bags for $50, which is a bit of a bargain. I think in US dollars that would be about um, $35, 35 US dollars for those two. Pretty good. I think so. So the lipstick was good. The, the little bags were good. The boots don't fit. Oh, and the book. Let's not forget the book. The book. Gorgeous. Really gorgeous. I absolutely used to love Bieber. I, you know, living just literally a five minute walk away from the store was just incredible. They did amazing makeup and everything. They had a roof garden on the roof, had a cafe. Awesome. I just need to show you this. Look at that. That was the coffee shop that they had. Well, coffee shop slash restaurant. It was a brilliant time to be around. It really was. I'm, I'm so fortunate. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I honestly wouldn't. I said that to my friend, well, one of my friends the other day. And she said, oh, really? But wouldn't you like to be younger? And I thought, mm -hmm, not really, no, actually. I mean, I'm quite happy with where I am, you know. Because the state of the world right now and everything else, you know, I won't go into details of everything that's going on, but you know, these crazy things that keep happening, like, you know, over the weekend. Uh, it's just, I don't know. Anyway, this was supposed to be a mini haul. Not me chatting away as if, you know, I'm sitting there drinking coffee with a best friend. Although, I don't know, that's not a bad thing, is it? No. Can't exactly give you a cup of coffee, but if you were here, I would. Oh, one thing I did want to mention, and I'll talk about it in more detail on this Sunday's live, is I'm going to do a giveaway um, to celebrate 1,000 subscribers, which I know in YouTube terms isn't huge, but I think it's a pretty big milestone. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm really delighted that so many people want to listen to me just waffling on about Handbags, fashion, jeans, books, lipsticks, a little crochet bags, and all that stuff. I mean, you know, it's been great. So pleased I decided to do it. It's um, Netflix has sort of fallen off the edge for a while, but you know, that's okay. Because I think I had enough of that. I needed something to do to get the, you know, the grey cells going again. Him indoors will be collecting names from the people that are in the live chat, 
and I'll show you what's up for grabs. And yeah, it's just to say thank you because I feel really privileged. I do, honestly, because that, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people have put up with me just, you know, doing what I do anyway. Loving handbags, loving fashion, books, everything. I'm really looking forward to the better weather coming when we can take you out and about because we live, oh, we live close to some amazing beaches. That They really are stunning. And there's a beautiful bay as well. I've got a little inflatable boat that we take out sometimes. I should do some vlogging on the boat in the summer, but at the moment it is just seriously too cold. You just wouldn't want to. Anyway, enough is enough. I shall, I shall cease my chattering. All that's left to say is thank you so much for watching. As always, I really, really do appreciate it, truthfully. So, à bientôt mes amis, au revoir et bonsoir.